I'm Sharon Bridge Fourth, the writer and composer of River Sea. <laughs> River Sea is a theatrical jazz performance installation and what that means for me is that the text serves as the structure that uh, improvisation happens from. So the text is, um, or the script, is handled by Sanja Parks who plays C, S-E-E. -E. And the text is a series of blues stories. And in these stories, C tells us about her family, her ancestors, um, her dreams, um, and her community. My soul moves in the night. I see my suit come there. Everybody there. I have developed a series of gestures that are requests. This means change sonically. Uh, follow me. Um, walk up and down the center of the crossroads. Uh, for the Egu or the dancers, this means warrior. Dance, uh, do what you feel, see needs, um, process, go get her, um, <laughs> juke. When the audience comes in, I ask them uh, who feels like gossiping, and I give them bits of text that are gossipy. I say, who feels like praying or sending light? And I give them bits of text that have that kind of energy. And I'll ask, who feels like translating? And I give them bits of text. We're going to invite you to a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> if I do this, I'm asking you a gesture. Uh, so just try that right now. You don't have to do what I'm doing. In fact, at all times, take it. a gesture that's perfect. At all times, a gesture is really, anything that we do is really about what C means. <laughs> These gestures or these requests help us to create a moving soundscape that supports C in her journey. My name is Marie Casimir, and in River C, I play Chief. I come in. I come in. Sharon, really proud of the work and happy to be able to embody uh, this amazing world where Sharon is allowed me to incorporate um, my own culture, uh, my own Haitian culture that sort of like lives in this world uh, with the root that she is creating. Jasmine 
Johnson, and um, I am a dancer. I am an Igun, or an ancestor in the show, um, and my role is to um, protect C, to um, be a constant reminder that she has a context um, far bigger and wider than herself. <laughs> I'm very new to the project. Um, I just came on this iteration. So this is my first time, which is to say five days or something like that. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's new for me um, and I'm new to the work. Um, but the group is pretty incredible, and um, Sharon has a way of being very, very lucid about what the project is about and what um, the role that I play or occupy is. So I'm very new, but somehow feel old already. Or the pots and plates clear. Hatch up kitchen, man. My name is Nia Witherspoon. I am playing a spirit guide for C. The first piece I saw was Delta Dandy at Fire and Ink in 2010, and I ended up writing a dissertation chapter on that. In that process, I did a lot of interviews with Sharon and, and started exchanging work, started exchanging some of my vocal creative work, my play work, um, and so the relationship kind of progressed from there. Rehearsal often means rehearsing a given thing to perform it. Like, um, rehearsal means kind of solidifying something so that in the performance you can repeat the thing, right? Rehearse denotes repetition. Um, and Sharon's rehearsal process is the complete opposite of that because um, what we're really actually rehearsing is the ability to connect. Um, so we're rehearsing uh, community how is everybody? Let's, let's just do a general check-in. They were cracking me up. I don't know if y'all knew it, but my Quay and Nia make faces when they do their <laughs> check <laughs> So part of, it, so part of, my, part of my, my brain said, okay, just play with them. So then they were cracking me up for real. <laughs> we're rehearsing uh, a world, um, how to be in a world, and how to be in the present in a world. Um, and that entails figuring out what our relationships are to see the protagonist, who, the person whose story this is, what our relationships are to each other in this world, which is both physical and metaphysical. And so we have to kind of figure out where we are living in this um, Yoruba cosmological lens um, in this world that's free birth, really, for C. So that's the excitingness of the rehearsal process. And all of that remembering happens um, through talking. Uh, but also, most importantly, and what we spend the most time doing is embodying. Woo, Baba! We all come here with something to bear. And that which don't come with us, we pick up in this. And in living, we come to know some things that are not true, and some things is ours to determine. A lot of the audience members, when I talk to them afterwards, they don't necessarily know that, they, like, they can't tell that we're doing all of this on the spot. <laughs> like, they're like, oh, so when did you compose mm -hmm. that, you know, riff that you did in this moment? And it's like, then. <laughs> then, 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 with every single thing, with every single person in the cast, that's what we're all doing. I wake myself up from laughing and singing and dancing in my sleep. 
in releasing the attachment to it working, it somehow does work. And that's the magic of Sharon's work and the magic of the theatrical jazz aesthetic as a whole. If you have enough people in the room that are in the world enough and have enough context, uh, historical, theoretical, cosmological, spiritual, and artistic training that um, can be trusted to hold that much um, impulse. I am Omi Oshun Joni L. Jones, and Sharon invited me to construct an environment I've ever seen. I also created these panels um, that encircle the space. Omi, what are you doing? <laughs> Staining this white paper so that it has much more of an aged look and it's just it would just be more interesting. The ones that are up now have been tea stained and then a Yoruba stamp has been used on them and then some stencil work done on them. I was asked to create the environment in which the performers would share and work with audience witnesses. The one idea that was clearest to me is that I wanted a sense of water. These river ideas were at one end, the oar, the planks of wood, um, some fish netting, the anchor, and then at the opposite diagonal of the crossroad was the altar that's behind me, an altar with lots of blue to honor Yemaya, and it also recognized, uh, recognizes other divinities, Oshon, the divinity of the river, um, Legba, Ogun, Oya, Obatala, those are the primary ones that are represented around the altar, and a lot of wonderful things happen at the altar, so there's this lovely, I think, relationship between the one point in the diagonal that has trafficking sorts of apparatus for the sea, like oars and anchors and so on, and then this altar, a place to honor water energy. I'm Nigel Woodson at a banjo, and I'm one of the Egun dancers. <laughs> It feels important to say that I have not, as an artist, found someone who is more trusting of their cast um, and trusting of their own work that we are able to be in the room so new every time together. It feels very much like magic and conjuring and ritual every time um, because we are required to be so available, we're required to um, be so sure with each other that only magic can happen from that. And it takes not accident um, or lack of intention, but a real understanding of one's craft, one's story, and the time taken to develop a work to allow artists to arrive at such a place. It ain't right for two women to join hands. And it's quite a lesson for me as an artist who feels that our journeys are always to be vulnerable and always to be learning. So it is, has been um, an incredible way for me to find my own seat as an artist. I'm grateful. And in fact, this show is about C and her journey towards freedom.
Hi, my name is Mon Quinn Dosi. I am one of C's spirit guides. Spit And I have been fortunate enough to be around for three different iterations of River Sea. I got to do a staged reading about two years ago in Minneapolis at Pillsbury House Theatre. And then I got to be in a sort of full um, stage reading um, at Pillsbury House Theatre last year, uh, April 2013. And now I am blessed to be with the fierce women and spirits of uh, of the premiere uh, at Lynx Hall, and I'm absolutely ecstatic. <laughs> Beautiful. It's been beautiful to watch the piece transform and to be able to be part of it for this long. Sharon's work always shifts something in, in my life. I'm, I'm sure it's true for other people too, but especially in my life, every single time I do it. So it's not, um, I love doing her work because it's not theater per se. It is, um, uh, it, it's a spirit, spiritual reclamation um, and it's remembering more than it is performing. Uh, and this piece especially is about um, remembering why you chose to manifest and what that responsibility is, which is the journey that C has to go on. And, and, and all of us, you know, have gone on whether we remember it or not. But this piece is really about remembering what it was you chose to do and why it is you chose to exist and then accepting that responsibility and having enough bravery to say yes and, and then exist in the joy of that. I'm doing me with all hope and promise can be wrenched away and burned. What do we mean when you make your life in the ashes? The spiritual work that it requires and the way that it shifts my life um, is so, it, it lines up right along those lines and it's not easy. It hurts. But I'm always happy to do the work because I know that at the end of it I won't be the same person. And hopefully that's what, what happens when you watch it too. Hold my face in my hands and say, okay. you is the answer prayer. The sham she giggle.
Breathe. 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 I know it's my turn now. I bend. Go into mama belly. Wait to be born in the north. The show was very um, inspirational, yet entertaining. It also had the audience involved. I'm coming back to see it again tomorrow. I was happy and sad and lonely, and you just felt so many raw emotions. The performances were just phenomenal. And it was a, there was this heavy kind of direction that you can witness, which I like. But then there was a sense of people having their freedom to perform in the moment. But then there was also a sense of respect for our direction. And that direction created these moments that, that it, was, it was miraculous. I don't even really know how to put it into words. Like, there were stories and then I found myself like going, oh, I want to watch Sanja give the, the monologue. But wait, the the singers are doing some really interesting like jazz scatting. But wait, the dancers are doing this like funky thing. Oh wait, oh, I get to offer this to it and offer this energy to it and oh wait, now I'm marching across the room. So it was something unexpected which I think makes it like really powerful.